Hey, James here, and we are one week out, just under a week out from Creative Mornings in Dubai. Really, really excited. Take a look in the description to this post, and you'll be able to get the, the link to go and sign up to join us for Creative Mornings in Dubai, number 59. Oh, man. So if you've never heard of Creative Mornings, go and check out with this thing, this community binding, talking, hugging, virtual, high-fiving virtual thing is all about. It's all about community. It's all about bringing it together. Big Hass joining us to talk this month on the theme of Radical, which brings me to where we're going because here at Creative Mornings in Dubai, go and check out in the description. You can find out more. We're rebooting our newsletter. So we've we've had fits and starts. And, and you know, hey, it's time, right? And people and time and life and blah. So we're rebooting it. And Swati and Nada are leading this epic adventure. One of the things we wanted to do in our reboot was, you know, invite the community, the community that's coming out to Creative Mornings Dubai, that's gonna be you to maybe contribute a poem or an essay or a, a, an editorial piece or a story or something every month that we get a little something to give us a sense of what's going on in our community. I put my hand up and volunteered to, to do a little commentary on the idea of Radical. So I, it, it, it hasn't been published yet. And who knows if it'll get through the editorial stage, but I wanted to just give you a little taste of where it's going and what I was thinking. And I love, love to get your feedback. Is it great? Is it horrible? Is it need a little bit of work? Where, where do you think this piece has landed? I'd love to hear from you truly. And, but let, let me give you a sense of where it's going. And this is the piece that will be in the Creative Mornings newsletter. Join the community, creativemornings.com to find out more. Google Creative Mornings, one word in Dubai and you'll come to us. Look, it's just amazing, <laughs> really. We've got over 2,200 people in the community have joined us to be part of this Creative Mornings community and, and we're just about supporting each other and having fun and having a monthly brain spa to get our minds cooking. Okay. Here's my, my piece. Don't touch your face. COVID, right? Sorry. Here's my piece. See what you think. It goes like this. It says, Radical Becomes the New Normal. That's the title. I've been thinking a lot lately about when it was that the idea of being, doing, or even thinking in a radical way went from being the exception to being the norm. My knee-jerk reaction was to think that this transformation of the idea of radical from the exception to a more normal way of existing has to be COVID-19 driven. For sure, the global pandemic has woken us up to thinking and acting differently from the way we socialize to the way we go about learning. Even our creative mornings events have become virtual, a radical change. What the pandemic has really done is given us permission to get out of our social, political, and economic ruts. Not without challenges, but it's giving us the permission to get out of our ruts. We have not only been given permission to dream up better ways to do things, but we have been given permission to rapid prototype pretty much everything we do now, immediately, Ready or not. Lately, I've been watching a lot of TED Talks and I find myself looking at the dates of the talks and I realized that radical ideas have been circling us forever. And only when we are ready in a state of mind, when we feel we have been given permission to receive them, do we start to see radical around us. These radical manifestations I'm talking about can be simply tweaks to our lives or complex reimagining of things. Here are four examples from thousands that exemplify what I'm talking about. 
Elizabeth Gilbert talks about her genius, about trusting yourself to keep doing your job even when it feels hopeless. Radical. Matt Coots talks about challenging yourself just because. Radical. Mark Bezos talks about doing that little act of kindness because you can. Radical. Stacy Kramer talks about the good that comes from a bad situation. Radical. Each one of these talks takes a basic idea and radicalizes it. And in the process of doing that gives us permission to think about ourselves and our own radical activation. We are constantly bumping up against the ideas and manifestations of radical and we often don't see them because in a crazy twist of fate, we are caught in the slipstream of the that is the way it is done frame of mind. But when we are given permission to see the alternative, the different, the radical, we embrace it. Not convinced? Stick around, it circles back. When you lose your job, you start considering all the things you do and which of these things you can turn into your next gig. When you move into a new place, you see the space as a new opportunity to live and try different things. When you go on vacation, you reorganize your time, embrace rap uh, spontaneous, and embrace randomness, which is the opposite of our scheduled days at work and school. Each of these situations is an invitation to embrace the radical and each of them only becomes possible when you have been given permission. Today, we have been given permission to embrace the radical within us and around us. And frankly, it's a little scary. But what is also becoming very clear is that we have always had radical inclinations. We have simply not felt that we have been given the permission to act on them. COVID-19 and the global pandemic, it has unleashed, is having a devastating impact on humanity, without question. But one glimmer of hope from this pandemic is that we no longer need permission to think or be radical in our ideas and actions. And as scary as this might seem, it is the new normal. What do you think? Peace that's going to be a version of a piece that's going to be in the Creative Mornings newsletter. Hey, join us at Creative Mornings. Big Haas is the speaker. 22nd of November, 8.15 a.m. Dubai time. I can't wait to see you. James out.